people who fly in races, the people who make records, the people who pioneer and fly commercial airlines, are all flying for a purpose. They're using aviation to do something. But aviation is also fun. And the people, I suppose, who fly more for the fun of it than anyone else are the people who fly aerobatics. Aerobatics started very early, almost as soon as the aeroplane. As soon as someone found you could fly an aeroplane upside down without breaking it. That was 1913. And since then, people have been doing more and more complicated things in the sky with aeroplanes in the aerobatic field. And gradually, through the dogfights of the First World War, which really put aerobatics as an art into picture, the pilots all over the world have been spreading their skills in this field. And now, following the great period of the 30s, when pilots like Udet were giving displays before big crowds in Germany and all over Europe, aerobatics have specialized to a very, very high degree. At the one end, we have the World Aerobatic Championships, incredibly precise, very, very cutthroat competitive flying to degrees of precision that are almost unbelievable. And at the other end, through sporting aerobatics, through display flying for the sake of a crowd, the barnstorming, right through to the other end of the spectrum, which is the Hollywood stunt pilot, who is doing a kind of aerobatics of his own, like this particular pilot, showing just what you...